Hi, this is Mark with Michigan Biochar. Out here is our test plot we're using for the pinto beans. This is video number two. We don't know if we're going to be able to get in video number three. It's August 26th and officially today, uh, today's first, the projected first frost of the fall here in Michigan for our zone. Actually about 30 miles down the road it's a totally different zone and they're not expecting their first frost for about three weeks. So. That's just what we get for being so high and dry over here. So we're going to try to get some kind of results uh, documented before the frost happens. But we thought we'd make a good point of giving you an update just so you know where we stand. Over the last number of nights we've had temperatures getting down in the mid 40s. And it'll be evident on some of these plants I show you just exactly what that has done to these plants. So over here, as you may recall, this test plot right here is pinto beans, which is really green beans, um, planted just in compost. They came up very vigorously, and a matter of fact, we have a lot of grass growing in it, competing with the plants because of all the compost that's down in the ground. So this looks really good. On this test plot, we have the pinto beans planted just in the ground as it is. So nothing added to it. You can tell actually we've got milkweeds. We know milkweeds are a sign of not too good of uh, ground. And they've come up pretty good. And overall when we compare the two you can tell that the ones with compost did a lot better than nothing at all. I don't know if you're able to see this over here. Many of these plants, matter of fact, I can pull one of them. Many of these plants, if you can see that, it has browning already. And I think that's associated to all these low temperatures we're seeing. Um, this plant really prefers an overnight temperature probably no, no less than 55 to 60 degrees and we're already down in the mid 40s uh, on and off. So we'll, uh, we'll keep working on this and, and hopefully we can come to some kind of conclusion before, again, before the frost hits. Down here we're seeing the same thing. These plants came up reasonably well. These were planted with biochar and compost down at the base of uh, where the seeds were planted. And you can see some more damage here with many of these plants so they're going to be struggling to come up but overall looks pretty good comparatively. This plot over here is biochar side dressed so we just went ahead and planted the, the uh, pinto beans side dressed it with biochar and compost these are coming up pretty good but again a lot of damage from the cooler weather so to look at this at this point on video number two, there's really nothing conclusive. So we'll just keep moving along, see how the results come out, and um, hopefully we'll have something that's meaningful for us yet this fall with this test.